Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 17th going into Sunday the 18th of July 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's message, I am using the Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman. Oh, I had a little blank moment then. <laughs> Only for a little moment. OK, so let's start with one of our little inspiration cards and this weekend it is from chakra love raise your crystal vibrations by katie manick shaw okay here we go it is the message from spirit too many just one card please just one card for my friends for saturday the 17th going into sunday the 18th thank you And your card is oh, upside down. So solar plexus chakra and your crystal is, I've never heard of this one, rutilated quartz and confidence. No one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Be your own cheerleader. Oh, I like that, friends, this weekend. Being your own cheerleader. Wow. OK, so let's see what fabulous message Spirit does have for us for this weekend. <clears throat> OK, here we go. Is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends thank you Saturday the 17th going into Sunday the 18th of July 2021 what do my friends need to know from the wisdom chakra tarot Saturday, 17th, going into Sunday, the 18th, 2021. What is the message from Spirit? <laughs> oh, jumpers again. Oh, too many there, I feel. Yeah. Okay, it will come. What is the message from Spirit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Your cards for this weekend are the Princess of Coins, followed by the Ten of Cups, and finishing with Major Arcana, number 14, Temperance. <laughs> wow, okay. Your first card is the Princess of of coins. Princesses, a youthful energy, so this is a potential um, beginning, a, a potential new start. I am hearing from spirit on the horizon. Um, it's coins, uh, so this is a, definitely something that you are doing in the physical physically uh, coins they can represent finances but it can also be assets and resources um, okay I'm drawn to the uh, the color obviously uh, green a beautiful shade of green so green related to your heart chakra um, I'm just hearing green light you're being given the green light wow 
You're being given the green light this weekend, my friends, and that's where this rising confidence is going to come from. Um, I'm already seeing here you working this weekend on your solar uh, plexus. Solar plexus is where you gain clarity, where you get, gain confidence um, and inner courage and inner strength um, and optimism. I'm also here. So you're being given a green light this weekend, friends. Wow. Um, and I actually see you feeling, you know, um, all youthful and energetic. I see you feeling all um, en enthusiastic, I am hearing. Um, you're ready for a new start. You are ready for a new beginning. Uh, it is a green light. It's all systems go, I'm hearing from spirit. Um And you're going to be forging a new path, forging a new way, um, I am hearing. Um, and although it's not a uh, red and a root chakra, but, but the end card is, uh, I do feel that this is you now. Um, the new start is based around your dreams, your goals, your desires and your passions. Um, and you've given while well, you've been given the green light uh, to go after all of those. Oh, uh, and I'm just being given the positive outcome, being assured uh, that you've been told <laughs> recently. Um, quite often I am hearing. Uh, wow. Oh, green light weekend. I like it. OK. Next, you have the Ten of Cups. Um, ten. <sighs> Culminations, reaching the ultimate, reaching the peak, um, endings and beginnings. Um, and the Ten of Cups, it's, um, the, the Ten is also um, the number of uh, fulfilment. This is the fulfilment. This is emotional fulfilment. Um, and I see you having this fulfilment because now um, you are forging your own path, your own way ahead um, with a green light, um, doing things that you enjoy doing, things that uh, float your boat, your passions, your dreams, your desires, not anyone else's. This is just you, I am hearing. And because you are following this path, which is your path of truth um, and, and your purpose, Spirit is also saying your, your truth is your purpose and why you are here. Um, and when you start following that, start following your truth, Oh boy, do your cups fill with emotional fulfilment. Um, and you see life through rose coloured glasses. Um, okay, so uh, 10 um, is this new beginning for you? It is that this old, the old energies really are dissipating. Uh, dissolving I'm also hearing um, and this is a, a time of a new you <laughs> and you're following your your truth I am hearing okay so the colour is um, I feel it's a blend of um, of orange and yellow so I do feel that this is your sacral and your solar um, your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra um, working uh, together conjunction i'm hearing uh, working in conjunction uh, with each other as all your chakras should when they are all open um okay so your sacral chakra um it's where all your joy uh, warmth um <sighs> fun excitement and uh, creative expression resides uh, and solar plexus well we've just covered it but I'll cover it again um, is where uh, you gain clarity where you gain courage and inner strength as um, optimism um, a, a freshness um, it's the color yellow so I'm just seeing um, um, dandelions and buttercups and daffodils you know spring and uh, freshness um, oh boy this is really a new it's a brand new you I am hearing oh wow and you are being your own cheerleader um, you're not looking to anyone else anymore friends um, 
for advice, uh, for value, uh, for anything. You are now totally recognising your self-worth, your self-value, um, and you are have really well, you've rediscovered you. You've discovered who you are. And you don't just like yourself, you love yourself and you love all of your ideas and dreams and passions and you are oh, fearlessly. This is this confidence. You're fearless now. Uh, nothing standing in your way. You are forging a way ahead uh, on the on way towards your emotional fulfillment. <laughs> wow. OK. Next we have Major Arcana, number 14, Temperance. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. Uh, 14, 1 and 4, adding up to the number 5, the number of conflict, crisis, uh, chaos, challenge, struggle, uh, but also the number of transformation and change. 5 is the agent for change and you really have changed my friends you are changelings um and temperance well this is you bringing everything into balance you are really harmonizing on the inside for sure it is showing up on the outside um Oh, this is the real alchemy, friends. Uh, and you have really become alchemists. Um, oh, boy, uh, you're bringing these energies together. The, the beautiful green light of your heart chakra um, alchemizing here with the gold of your um, of your solar plexus. Oh, yes. Alchemists. Oh, wow. Um this is the element of harmony. This is where this inner strength and courage is coming from because you have really harmonised, balanced yourself out. You are doing things with moderation. You are doing things with cooperation and compromise, I am hearing. Um, you are looking for the path of least resistance in in anything and everything that you are doing, that you are um, undertaking, I am hearing. Um, and the balance, friends, it's all four elements that you have um, all uh, brought together, uh, alchemised. This is, this is you, you are oh, master alchemist spirit is saying, wow, wow, wow. OK. <clears throat> This is um, this is your equilibrium. So we see here temperance um, with the two cups here with the water just flowing from one cup to the other. So this emotional fulfillment, um, uh, you're going to be keeping it going. I'm just being given the infinity sign, uh, a vision of that. So spirit saying you've reached this perfect place, this perfect place on your path. Um, this perfect place in your destiny. Um, that you're going to be keeping going. Uh, you're not looking back. This this old energy, as I keep saying, is gone. This is new energy uh, and it's a time. It's red. This is your... Um, your root chakra um, and red uh, and your root chakra are where all your passions and desires reside. Um, your root chakra is um, it's your first chakra. It's where you want to feel safe and secure. And once you feel safe and secure, you are ready to go uh, chase your dreams, goals and desires. Red represents energy and ambition and um uh, strength. Um, it's also the colour of love, I'm being told from spirit. So reminding you of, of this heart chakra that you have opened and um, oh boy, is the love pouring in and is it pouring out? That's why I'm looking at these two cups, my friends. Uh, spirit is saying, oh wow, spirit is saying when you look in the mirror, the only thing that you can't see but that spirit can see are your wings. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That has made me go all tingly, friends. Oh, 
Oh, wow, wow, wow. What a wonderful weekend message. OK, next we have The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Seagal. Oh, thank you. Oh, too many. Oh, no, it's that one stuck to my finger. <laughs> OK. So let's just lower the camera for you. There we go. And your secret language of colour card is... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, friends, you've got the Midas touch. Um, and this gold, uh, number 21, Attract Abundance, coming under this Princess of Coins, the green light card. Wow. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> I'm all excited and I'm not even going to try and bottle it, friends. I'm just going to let it flow. I hope you can feel this excitement. Uh, two and one, adding up to the wonderful number three. Oh, my favourite number, the Trinity. Mind, body, spirit, thoughts, words and actions. You being your authentic, genuine selves. You being in your truth, friends. You are just immersed in your truth and in that immersion is this wonderful alchemy that's taking place and oh boy <laughs> oh are you you are gold oh i'm just hearing that song um oh who sang that micah mika um we are golden Okay, I'll have to find that out and leave it in the description box. But I think it is you. We are not who we think we are. We are golden. <laughs> oh, and have you discovered that, my friends? You've discovered the treasure is it was within you all the time. And now you know it. Wow. OK, gold provides clarity in decision making, attracting abundance, expanding awareness, clearing the path to wisdom, knowledge and joy. Strengthen all fields of the body and spirit with gold, the strongest colour for healing all illness. But use it wisely to attract abundance. Focus on activating golden energy in the palms of your hands. Hold a gold coin in each of your palms and focus on the gratitude for the abundance that you already have. Close your eyes and bless the coins, imagining them multiplying into a mountain of abundance. Activate the golden energy in your palms by sending golden light into them. When your hands begin to tingle, you'll know that, where appropriate, everything you touch can now turn to gold. Say... Divine Spirit, open the well of abundance in my heart and attract continuous blessings into my life. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> a golden weekend, a golden message. Oh, boy. <laughs> OK, next we will have Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards, also by Tori Hartman. And I'm just being shown the trinket, the diamond that we've had um, a couple of times that that has come out. And, um, you know, you, you, you're just discovering your brilliant spirit, he's saying. <laughs> wow. OK. Whoop. There we go. <clears throat> Strong messages. So your wisdom, wisdom chakra oracle card is... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Remembering to be in gratitude. Uh, I spend uh, at least 10 minutes to half an hour um, in meditative uh, gratitude for all that I have uh, and and thanking in advance for what it for what is already mine, for what is to is to come. OK. <laughs> oh dear what a message friends so gratitude is um your crown chakra and 
It's Lucy from Indigo. I am so glad you are in my life. Lucy's best friend writes a letter to Lucy's unborn child. She does this so that one day the child will understand how extraordinary her mother is. Lucy is a friend from Indigo. Someone who always supports, never judges, always sees the good side whatever the circumstances and uplifts all of those around her. In the letter, her gratitude for Lucy shines through. Gratitude raises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in any relationship, Lucy reminds you that it is always in your power to change it. There is no mystery to being a good person. Good people just do good things. Ask yourself, who is the person I admire the most and why? And how can I live at that level? And your key ideas are friendships, deep love, nurturing, an unconditional love towards self or others, and appreciation. And your meditation is, for the next 10 days, spend a few minutes each day making a gratitude list. Do not look at the previous day's list when you begin each day. At the end of the 10 days, read all the lists and notice what keeps coming up. And are you on your list? Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. I never put myself on the list. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on, friends. And I, I do hope you will join me. <laughs> OK, here we go. Ruby's new deck. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper. Uh, she does actually have her own card in this deck, my friends, and I think that's why she's so excited. <laughs> and it really is a beautiful deck. And the more we use it, the more you will see and know and understand too. Okay. Let's call on Ruby now. The Kind Red Spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Saturday the 17th, going into Sunday the 18th. Woo! Okay. Too many there, but she's just saying it's the top one. <clears throat> Okay, and Ruby's card for you is number eight. Open to abundance. Believe you deserve and accept plenty and prosperity. Oh boy, it's all coming to you, my friends. You truly are. Oh, master alchemists. Wow. Uh, of course, eight is the number of abundance, uh, manifestation, harvest. It is the number of believing in yourself. Oh, boy. This is the card of bounty, Ruby says. Abundance is your birthright. A wealth of happiness, excitement, satisfaction, creative freedom, success, love and friendship as well as material prosperity, is available to you from a loving and benevolent source. The universe is plentiful, generous. Your guidance is to open up to the higher possibilities and opportunities that are accessible to you. With this card, Ruby is reminding you that you can attract whatever you believe you deserve. Magnify your levels of deservingness to receive all that your heart and soul desire. You merit abundance simply because you are a beloved child of the universe and knowing this enables your consciousness to expand and draw more to you. Imagine that there is a grey cloud partially or fully blocking the sun. That cloud represents all the beliefs that prevent you from receiving the light that is directed towards you. Beyond it are the riches, the happiness, love, success, plenty and cornucopia of prosperity that are waiting to come to you. Remember that you only have to blow away those old beliefs and abundance is yours for the asking. Just know that you deserve it. 
Your unicorn is reminding you that good is waiting to come to you as soon as you enlarge your abundance consciousness. Your guidance is to focus on what you want so that you can start attracting it. So visualise a rainbow surrounding you. This represents total happiness and abundance. Open your arms wide to welcome a cornucopia of good things into your life. Say three times aloud if possible, I deserve abundance and welcome it now. Sense your unicorn pouring blessings all over you and you are ready to move forward and enjoy an abundant life. Your affirmation is, all that I need comes easily to me. All that I need comes easily to me. All that I need comes easily to me. <laughs> wow, Ruby. Oh, the perfect card to match this beautiful reading. OK, so we have two trinkets. Uh, one is in uh, the divine uh, gold, uh, sorry, divine masculine colour gold. And the other in silver, the divine feminine. So our first one is a snowflake. Um, of course, snowflakes, well, they float gently from heaven to earth. Where would you like to go? On gold. That's what you are doing, friends. You are attracting gold from heaven to earth. Oh, wow. And OK, Caroline's cat back again. Uh, of course, cats, um, curious, intelligent, uh, independent, um, have a deep connection with with their self, with their nature. And where would you like to go? So Kat wants to go on temperance. So this is where you've been doing the work, friends, the inner work. You, you've really been healing yourselves from the inside. Uh, and oh boy, is it going to be showing up on the outside? You've opened a gateway um, and abundance and blessings, prosperity. Um, it's just going to be pouring in, friends. So <laughs> get those cups out and get ready to fill them because it is coming, Spirit is saying. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Wow. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, May favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.